What's up y'all? It's I'm Taylor Ray, and I'm here to help you create some dope neon and cyberpunk edits on a budget. So today we're working on one of my favorite shots. It's this kind of rainy neon cyber uh, photo that I did a couple weeks ago. I'm just gonna walk you through how I kind of did the editing. And also if you're part of my Patreon in the best friends tier, then you'll have the ability to download the PSD file and walk through it together. So let's go. Okay, so how do we add that rain effect? And let me tell you, it was a challenge. So I went online and I searched rain on window transparent and basically found an example of like a very small free uh, transparent background of what a what raindrops look like on a window. Um, so I took that and basically multiplied it so that it'll fit across the screen. Um, I'm gonna paste in my uh, version that I did and then I'll walk you through step by step kind of how that looks like. And by the way, if you just heard my laundry going off, I apologize. All right, so this is what the rain folder looks like. Now, if you come in, it's made up of 12 groups. So let's go ahead, I think, yeah, group 12 is all the way at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and start with group one, which you can see is this layer up here at the top. So basically each one, we'll go, and I apologize, I didn't name these cute names. I just named them whatever because it took me so long to do this. So as you can see here, it's a series of little tiny raindrops and it it is a little repetitive um, so if you'd like you can um, spread yours out a little bit better to make the um, spacing not quite as repetitive but as you can see it was just a little tiny cube here so what we did if we hid all of this layer let's say we get delete this layer just so you can get an idea Let's say if we delete this layer, so you can get an idea. So we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer. We can just give it any kind of name. Now I'm just going to be selecting the move tool here and we're just gonna move this over. So now that I'm moving over a little bit, you can see, zoom in. You can see there's a bit of a gap. So you just want to use this move tool to move it back so that your rain lines up. You can see now we can see this gap. It'll make it really noticeable once you get all of the layers in. So we can even move this over just a little bit more. And great. So now you can see with adding the rest of the layers in how it makes a big difference and then basically from there the cool thing about this is that once you have one group done it's a lot easier to do the rest of them so let's say we'll delete group two um, group and contents perfect so now you see that we have this big blank space here, um, and this is exactly how I did it. So you duplicate the group. This one I will actually give a proper name, group two. So now we'll select group two and do the same thing we did with these movement tools. I'll zoom in so you can see. We're just gonna slowly, slowly, slowly move this down here. Now, as you can imagine, the fact that I did this 12 times, it was a tedious process. <laughs> but, you know, I'm really happy with how the results came out. Um, I think that this looks a lot more natural than, see, you can see that line there. Don't try to speed through this, but I think that it looks a lot more natural than I think some of the other options. So, that is how you create your first rain layer 
on a budget. Um, now there's another layer coming up, so we'll move in, into that next. Okay, so you're gonna tell me, sick, Taylor, we got one layer of rain on, this is looking really dope, like now I should start editing the foreground now, right? And I'm gonna tell you, no, because to me, this doesn't look like real rain yet. To me, this is like rain, there's rain on a window, but when you're actually looking outside at rain, um, there's stuff going on outside too. It's not like there's only water on your window. Um, so I decided to take this a step further and said, let's make some moving rain outside. Why not? So uh, give me a second. I'm going to find my other rain folder, my moving rain folder, paste it into here, and then I'll show you how we do this. Here is the rain background, which to me, like, let's take a look at this. For me, like, this is a big difference. So basically, we start this off with duplicating the rain background. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. I'll show you how this is done here. Rain copy. I am the worst with naming layers. Um, be better than me and name your layers something nice. Um, I don't. So I'm just going to minimize this first rain layer so we can get a better idea here. But we'll go down to group one again. Our layer here, which is this little guy up top. And remember that Gaussian blur that we did before? So we're going to add another Gaussian blur here. Or actually, no. I take it back. <laughs> so we're going to go up to this cute little guy here. This guy in the corner. And we're going to do a different kind of blur this time. We're going to do a motion blur. So, thank goodness I already did this last time. Um, I already decided the angle and the distance. But just to look, so, you know, angle. If you want it to be a freaking rainstorm, you can change the angle here. But for me, I just want to go straight 90 degrees down because it's just, you know, regular rain coming down. The distance is going to be how much... Um, kind of like how fast it's going. So let's say if we're going 10, that's not moving very far. If you want to go 90, you know, that's kind of cute too. I wanted to be able to see the rain more clearly, so I just wanted to go with a 40. But the 90 could be really cute too. Just, you know, play around with it and see what you like best. So, go ahead and did that for the first layer. Now you're going to say Taylor. Wow, that took a lot of time. And you know what? You're right. Because now we need to do this to every other layer in group one. And every other layer in all 12 of our groups. But you know what? This is what we do for the love of neon shit. <laughs> so, the one nice thing is that once you select this next layer, you can just add the motion blur. So it's only an extra click. Let's see if you can actually. Can we select all these layers? So you can select here. Um, ah, you can't. That was. I was hoping we could, we can't. So I'm just going to select these layer by layer. Add the motion blur. And you get the idea. So that's what that motion blur kind of looks like compared to your other layers. Um, and again, so let's pretend like you spent a whole hour and did that's all of your layers. So this is what that's going to look like with the entire 12 rows with that 90 degree angle, uh, 40 distance motion blur. And then you can stick your rain layer on top looks pretty badass in my opinion. So those are your rain layers. Next up we're going to work on the curtain and then we'll start working on the foreground. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for everyone who's on my Patreon, who's supporting me and helping me create dope content every month. Um, if you like this one, please check out my other work um, because there's a lot more of these tutorials to come.